Hello everyone, this is Solid as Snake here, and today I'll be doing the video unboxing for the Collector's Edition of Injustice Gods Among Us, the creators of the rebooted Mortal Kombat in 2011. I'll give you a quick rundown of what's in the box. Right, we've got the collectible figurine slash, st slash statue, the three DLC skins, Injustice comic book, and the collectible steel book. So let's get this open, shall we? Alright, so what should we take out of a box first? A comic. I mean, this is actually from, this is actually a genuine comic from the, the series of comic books that have actually been released for Injustice. I mean, they, uh, the storyline coincides with the game storyline. And just what happens today that. I received my issue two and three. Today is Injustice Day. I and mean, I could be wrong, so forgive me. But I'm not too I don't it doesn't actually say an issue number on the comic which is odd. But I, th I think it's either issue five or six. There's a Superman. Clark Kent, Batman. So the uh, story in the comic books does coincide with the actual game, so I mean if you collect the comic books anyway. This is a good series to get. And what else we got in here? The steel book. I think that's Cyborg. Give me if I'm wrong, I'm not too familiar with that character. But obviously, we've got Wonder Woman, Joker, Flash, Green Lantern, and Batman Superman scrapping it out. And obviously, there's it on the back there Batman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. And I think they're the DLC skins that you get with this collector's edition manual. Mm, it's got a nice new fresh smell. There we are. Yeah, the three DLC skins from DC Comics New 52. So for Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Uh, there's no actual special design in the inner case. I know with the Resident Evil ones and God of War, some of the steel books you get a design on the inside. So this one's just on the outside, but. I think this, I mean, I say it almost every time, but I think this is one of the better steel books. And it is nice and shiny. I think that's a snazzy one. That's what I've got, I reckon. I do like that. Me likey. Alright, let's get to the start of the show. Alright, the statue slash figurine of Batman and Wonder Woman are scrapping it out. <laughs> go as you can see it's actually quite a decent size so it's 23 centimeters tall I mean a lot better than the uh, shoddy Mortal, Com Mortal Kombat one collector's edition that came out a couple of years ago with Sub-Zero and Scorpion scrapping it out and that one looked awesome in the pictures but when it arrived it looked as cheap as shit but say this this is definitely gonna go in a it's pr pride of display in my cabinet I reckon I did get as well Wonder Woman's whip and a batarang. And I'm not going to bother assembling these together now because, say, a whip goes through a handy and it's got a tie around Batman's arm there. So, I mean, that's going to be a ball like I don't want to bore you with doing that. But let's get a close up of this. I mean, the attention to detail is really good. I really like this. So it's at least as good as the uh, collector's edition of Arkham City. I 
Batman's cape moves. So it's not just like a, a proper stiff plastic. It's flexible. Gives it more of a, a realistic effect. Yeah, I do really like that. That is one of the uh, quarter Collex editions I've got. So there you have it. So I'll give you a quick rundown again of what we get. We get the 23 centimeter figurine slash statue. Batarang in whip. A comic book. So I think it's either issue five or six. It's one of the two. Could be one. I could be completely wrong. Because oddly enough, my two issues two and three turned up in the post today. But they arrived before issue one. All from the same company. Okay. And then obviously the uh, steel book. So that concludes my video unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all online for some injustice. Thank you and goodbye.